Hello and welcome to this demonstration of the data feedback system for the Comprehensive Assessment of Leadership for Learning, or CALL. Let's get started. First, you'll need to log in to your dashboard. Once you do, you should see your school listed there, or multiple schools, depending on what your role is. To view a report for school, simply click on View Report. This is a report for an individual school in CALL. As you can see, there are many ways to look at the data in the call system. We have areas of strength, improvement needs, view by domain, and top 10, bottom 10. We'll go through each of these and more. Let's start with view by domain. In this area, you can view the call data according to the five core domains. One, focus on learning. Two, monitoring teaching and learning. Three, building nested learning communities, four, acquiring and allocating resources, and five, maintaining a safe and effective learning environment. Within each of these five domains, there are three to five subdomains, as you can see in each domain. Each subdomain is a group of questions that exist on the survey, and you can view each subdomain here on call by either clicking on View Subdomains, which opens up the domain, and then you can see each domain and the data there. Or you can click on the actual domain itself and it will take you right to it. This is how you can view the call data according to its initial structure. But you can also go right to your areas of strength or your improvement needs. In looking at these areas, you can see that the call system identifies areas of strength and improvement needs according to the subdomains within call. It pulls out subdomains and identifies these improvement needs by comparing your school's rating to the call average. In this case, the call average is the average of all schools that have taken call. But we can change that by looking up here in this box. We can view according to the overall call average, which is where it is now. You can also change it to the state average. So if you have a number of schools in your state that have used call, that might give you an idea of how you are working in comparison to other schools in your state. You can also click on view call average based on similar demographics. This will show you your school's rating in comparison to other schools with similar demographics. And those demographics are the grade levels taught in the school, so elementary school, middle school, or high school. The region in which your school is located, such as urban, suburban, small town, or rural. And poverty level, from very low to very high. Those demographics are self-identified in your school information page in the dashboard. We can also, instead of looking at the call rating in comparison to the call average, we can click on this side. And this will give us our subdomains or our areas that are rated lowest in comparison to each other. So this will give us the lowest rated subdomains from the whole survey. We can do everything that we did here, but with areas of strength as well. And with areas of strength, we can look at again, our school's rating in comparison to the call average, but this time we'll look at which areas were rated much higher than the call average. You can also see that we can view the data by role, as it is here. We see the teachers, the administrators, and the support staff. And we can change that as well by going to view by and clicking on another area. For example, subjects taught. And that will give us the data or the response ratings for the different subjects taught in the school. Returning to improvement needs, I wanna show you how you can delve more deeply into your data. Remember that call is a task-based assessment, which means that the survey questions on the call assessment are focused on specific tasks, activities, routines. So we would like to get more in-depth with those tasks. We can do that by looking at the key improvement needs identified in this area on the right side in this page. Or we can click on view all items in this area, which will show us those improvement needs as well as all of the other questions from this subdomain. Once I click on that, it will take me to this page 
And again, we are looking at subdomain 2.4, the summative evaluation of teaching. For each question, we get the description of what this practice is, the rating for this item, and the question itself, as well as the number of respondents, the distribution of responses, and a visual aid through bar graphs to show you which response was chosen the most. We can see that for each question. And because these questions are, again, are practice oriented, we can rely on these questions for feedback specifically to identify where we would like to improve upon in our school. Focusing on the tasks at the item level will give us the most useful feedback on what we could be doing differently in our school, if necessary. So for each subdomain, you can click on view all items in this area. And you can get to those items either by going through improvement needs, areas of strength, or looking at each subdomain in view by domain. Within each subdomain, we offer feedback. The feedback button is listed in various places as you're looking at data within a subdomain. By clicking on view feedback, you will see that you're offered some strategies and suggestions for improvement in each given area. These are exactly what we said, strategies and suggestions. They are ideas to consider to move a school forward in this specific area. Perhaps your school is doing this work already, but if it's not, maybe you could consider taking on some of these new practices. And if you are doing this work, maybe it's an opportunity to reflect on if this work is effective or not. And at the bottom of most subdomains in this feedback page, we offer a PDF resource that you can click on and download and print or share with your faculty or with your leadership team and use it as a resource. We want to make sure that those who are being assessed in their schools are being supported in this work and not just evaluated. Going back to our report page, the last thing to show you here is the top 10, bottom 10 function. This is a way to look at individual questions that were rated high or low within your survey, regardless of what subdomain they are located in. Remember, in our improvement needs and areas of strength, those identify specific areas, whole subdomains, not individual questions that are areas of strength or in need of improvement. This section, the top 10, bottom 10, shows us individual questions that are rated high and rated low. This is yet another way to dig into the data at the task or practice level. As you can see through this video demonstration, there are lots of ways to get into the call data and certainly a lot of information to digest. Our suggestion when going through this data is to not try and absorb everything at once. It's very important that while there is a lot to look at, to really maintain your focus on very specific areas. Identify which area you would like to improve upon or which area you'd want to maintain and focus on a few questions within that subdomain or focus on just one subdomain as a whole. That is a way to actually make progress. Instead of feeling overwhelmed, start with one step at a time. And certainly there are other ways to consider the data as well. So take a few minutes on your own with your data Click around, see what you can see, and start to develop a plan with your staff to engage in school improvement planning. And of course, please contact the call team for further assistance with your call data feedback system. And thank you as always for participating in the comprehensive assessment of Leadership for Learning.